Hello, Stacy Drake here. Here we are, we're almost down the hill. I had to retake this video because something happened on my phone. But here we are, Mineola Crestwood. <laughs> I want to talk to you about like the Metro North system and how, you, you know, I have enough Long Island corruption videos complaining about what Long Island its problems are. So I decided to make one about like Westchester. How Metro North's train lines aren't closer together, close enough together. All you have is the Hudson Harlem line and the Sledding Westchester the New Haven line. They're not that close together. You have to travel all the way back to the city to like Manhattan to switch from the Harlem and Hudson lines or from the New Haven and Hudson lines. Just a major, just like a major issue. And Long Island Railroad, you, all you need to do is backtrack to Jamaica. And not always, because there's a central branch. There's plenty of branches on Long Island. The Hempstead, West Hempstead, Babylon, Long Beach, Far Rockaway, Huntington, Port Jeff, Ronkonkoma, Montauk, Oyster Bay, Port Washington. There's a ton of them on Long Island. And on Metro North, it doesn't show that many branches. Like... Yeah, take you to the to the hidden depths of Westchester, especially because there are hills like the one I just traveled down. You'll have to tirelessly walk up again. This is why I think there should should be a Parkview Heights bus, mm -hmm. maybe like one that goes along the route of the forty, and the bus would take all the hills of of Bronxville, Scarsdale. Tuckahoe, East Chester, take all those hills. <laughs> like, that's just a major problem, is the hills, too. Okay, I walked past, so, so I didn't want to get on video. <laughs> for privacy <laughs> but anyway the the rail lines just need to get closer together <laughs> there needs to be like a way to solve this hill problem like walking up all these hills if you can't drive like me this just needs to be more accessible transit in westchester that's why i considered moving to mineola but you know, now because of all what stuff's happening in Mineola. All of what the stuff is happening in Mineola. I, I was thinking somewhere else. Because, you know, the, the Long Island Railroad shutdowns, the redlining plan, enough about that, but Westchester's rail lines there's no rail lines in the Putnam line area, like Ardsley, Pecanico Hills, Elmsford, Yorktown. That's why 10 years ago I proposed that they build two Yorktown Heights branches. Two Yorktown Heights branches. One from the Harlem line, one from the Hudson line, before I even heard of the old Putnam. <laughs> What we need is, I'll draw a map of this later, post it in a later video. I'll draw a Metro North map, how it would be revised in the TTT, my transit idea. It would, it would have trains make, on the Harlem line, make their first stop at Bronxville, then go to White Plains and then turn onto a separate branch that resembles the Huntington branch. And, ends near Pace University and in the electrification would end at Pace University in Pleasantville, Sleepy Hollow. Near that famous exit of the sprain. Then diesel service would continue north up to Putnam County, make a loop. It would make a loop. And then It'd be like a force of Putnam line too. And Central Park Avenue, which is this way where the camera's pointing, 
There'd be a branch that splits off just north of here. And it would go down Pennsylvania Avenue, Scarsdale Road, Crisfield Street, Central Park Avenue, go to Fairview, and then eventually it reaches the Tappan Zee with that other proposal that people have come up with is the Tappan Zee line. And you might be thinking, Fl Fleetwood, Mount Vernon West, Wakefield, where do you get those trains from? Well, there'd be a branch that goes to Scarsdale Downs, like right around Heathcote. And those, those trains would make the local stops on Route 22, and those that resemble the Hempstead branch, Fleetwood, Mount Vernon West, and Wakefield. And then Woodlawn would be the, the Jamaica of Westchester, because it would be the big transfer station. It would be moved a little further south so that so that the switches would work. It would not be in the way of the station. So, and then Williams Bridge Botanical Garden, they'd be treated like Forest Hills and Kew Gardens. And then the, the West Scars, the West Heathcote Branch, Run along North Avenue, it would go through New Rochelle. There would be a Hutchinson River Parkway branch that would be similar to the Babylon branch in a way. Be elevated. Continue up past Ar Armonk would be the end of electrification. Then to continue through through Greenwich, Lewisboro, Katona, that area, using battery powered is not diesel. Then connect with the Danbury branch on Metro North. And who could forget North of Wasaic? Mm -hmm. That's another thing. I'll talk about this more in another video. As time's getting by really fast. I can only make videos up to 15 minutes since I'm not a partner. Also, we really should keep the M3s in service because, well, Metro North M3s only because the Long Island Railroads are out of, out of are like in terrible condition with Metro Norths. They can last longer. We would just use the new M9s for more double deckers. Amtrak City Sprinter 64s, either that or that for the electric service. And since the Hutchinson River Parkway and the West Heathcote lines are catenary powered, they would need to run M8s or, of course, the ACS 64s with the bi-levels. So, here we are walking into the overpass at Crestwood. This would later be a stop for some of the trains that lead to either the Danbury branch or to Southeast, treated like Mineola. <laughs> and then a lot more goes into this whole plan. I'm gonna take away, I'm gonna take away the video right now, make a part two, bye.